And welcome to our lecture online and here's a quick review on the periodicity of the sine and the cosine waves or the sine and the cosine graphs as we call them. So here in black we have the cosine of theta represented here by this line. Notice that the cosine of theta is equal to 1 when the angle is 0 because when the angle is 0 this is the cosine of theta so that's equal to 1 the radius of the unit circle and when we get up to 90 degrees or pi over 2 at that point we can see that the, when the angle is 90 degrees, then this would be the sine of theta, and the cosine of theta would be equal to 0. So the cosine of theta comes to 0, the sine of theta goes to 1, and so forth. So you can see how they just change as you go around the unit circle. When you come all the way around, an angle of 2 pi, or 360 degrees, so we come all the way around, the cosine function is right back to where it started, and the sine function is right back to where it started 2 pi later and then the whole thing starts over again so you can see that every time we go around the unit circle we cover a distance along the x-axis or in this case along the theta axis, the horizontal axis a distance of 2 pi and then we repeat the entire function we go another 2 pi, the whole function is repeated we go another 2 pi, the whole function is repeated be it the cosine of the angle or the sine of the angle doesn't make any difference we see that periodicity, that repetition and it goes on forever and ever and ever so typically when we talked about the cosine or the sine, we talk about the function in terms from 0 to 2 pi, but you can see how it just continues on forever. When you try to calculate the value of the sine or the cosine and the angle is greater than 360 degrees or greater than 2 pi, you typically then will subtract a, an integer multiple of 2 pi or an integer multiple of 360 degrees from the angle so that the angle then some, somehow falls between 0 and 2 pi and then you evaluate the function. That's typically how it's done. Although in the next video we'll see that there's a more general way of writing these functions where the periodicity can change as far as the length on the horizontal axis and because when the the angle here can be written differently which causes the periodicity change. So this is the basic function we have the cosine of the angle and the sine of the angle and on the next video we'll see that things do change when we start putting in different values there. Anyway this should give you a nice idea of how the sine and the cosine change over time from 0 to 2 pi but then repeat that same value. So if you take for example pi over 2 add 2 pi to that which gives you 5 pi over 2 you'll get the very same value for the cosine and the sine. Notice the cosine here is the sine here is 1, the cosine here is 0. So every time you move over a distance of 2 pi, you will get the exact same values for sine and cosine. And that's what we mean by the periodicity of the sine and the cosine functions.